Good morning, Saskatoon. Well, it's another Friday, so that must mean, what, about six weeks now that the city solicitor hasn't put up any proof about the zoning bylaw for Prairie Land Park? That's uh, unacceptable. Uh, it should be a five-second thing. But, of course, planners should be the ones that are really putting up the proof. The city solicitor isn't the planner for the city. So that the city solicitor had to write a statement that we've looked at it all is good, don't look anymore here, basically is to deflect us from asking real questions. So why don't you just shut me up? I mean, seriously, I think a lot of people would like me just to be quiet. So why don't you just do it? I, I'm actually looking forward to you just putting out so much information to embarrass me now to say, hey, let's show this guy that he didn't know what he was talking about. So this last week at City Council, I presented well, about a grade six level presentation to show City Council the 14 permits that are a suspect for uses in Prairie Land Park. Nice little video, simple as can be. So why don't you tear that one apart? You've got all the time in the world. You've got all these lawyers and planners working at the city. Why don't you put out something to the general public so people know that you're being honest? Because right now you're not. You are not being honest as to how the zoning bylaw is written or how it should be enforced. You're just hiding behind the fact you can't make me. And you know what? That's what it sounds like. You're like a five or six year old kid who's taking a tantrum and saying, you can't make me do that. And uh, I guess we're supposed to find ways to make you do your job. So I'm not sure what it's gonna take, but let's talk about just this relationship with Prairie Park that seems to be so deeply seated here. Let's forget that the city solicitor wrote a very poor contract back in the day, didn't look after the city interests, for sure, didn't look out the best interests of the citizen who pays taxes. But even within that, there's still things in there that are legally binding, and it all ties back to the Zoning Bylaw. Cities Act doesn't supersede it, nothing does. So anything you talk like that about is just smokescreen, and you and I both know that. And as people start finding these things out for themselves and reading the zoning bylaw just that little bit, they're starting to realize that you're not really being forthcoming, are you? So Mark Regeer, he's got this little connection in the middle of Prairie Land Park to the SAS party because they're all buddies and they always have their, their uh, big events there and fundraisers. So the SAS party has been pretty quiet on ag events, which means the NDP are eating their lunch every day, which should embarrass a few people because Scott Moe is supposed to be Mr. Farmer. And yet he's not doing anything to help any farmers to deal with ag. When it comes to the city themselves, they've had councillors on the board like Troy Davies who voted for Prairie Land Park all the time. And you quickly came to that defense to show that Troy Davies was allowed to be on both because the city put them. It's still uh, unethical. It's still an ethical breach, uh, whether or not you think it's a procedural breach. Mayor Lowen's currently on that board. What is she doing to help small business that are getting hurt by Prairie Land Parks? They, they, they don't pay property tax, income tax, or really rent, $100 rent on that big site. And all of this, and they're competing against our businesses that pay all these things. How is that fair? And how are they allowed to do it off-site? They leave Prairie Land Parks boundaries and they do work outside and they don't pay any of these taxes. So how is any other business supposed to compete with them? Anything they want to take on, if they start doing catering off-site, you can't compete with them because you're going to be paying for your kitchen, you're going to be paying for taxes and, and rent, and you're going to be paying income tax, and they don't. Mayor Clark, he seems to say, well, you know, it's recently told uh, Horseman that it's a provincial issue, and the provincial government says, oh, it's a city issue. You see this big loop, but just deflect away. It's not me, even though there are lots of things that the city can do. So if he starts getting uncomfortable enough, We'll get Jeff Jorgensen to get the city solicitor to finally realize, oh, gee, we could read the zoning bylaw and actually use it. There, there you go. So we do have some latitude, but only until enough pressure gets put will they finally do that, which is unfair. Then you look at the NSBA. They got to be fighting for all these business interests, eh? except that Keith Moe and another lady happen to be on the NSBA board, and they're also on Prelands board. Except Keith Mullen gets paid by the NSBA to protect business interests, and yet he's voting for a Prairie Land Park on things that put them in competition directly with business outside of uh, Prairie Land Park. How is that fair? And that is hugely unethical because he's paid during the day. His full-time job is supposed to be helping business, not hurting it. So that he gets a cushy job being on the board of Prairie Land Park and gets to attend all these little things, and he gets to vote on really important stuff. Those, those little things, that stuff that he votes on actually is hurting and killing business. 
So what the hell is going on here? Nobody's accountable to anybody and everybody keeps deflecting. It's not my job. It's not my job. And that's exactly what this guy in the middle wants you to do. Nothing. He doesn't want you to pay attention and ask honest questions. So it's about time people did honest, ask honest questions. And city solicitor, I think it's time that you put up real proof. I think it's time that we deserve for you to break apart what I've already presented to council on Monday and show where I'm wrong. And if you can't do it, then I think you should probably have to come forward in the public and admit that and then start applying the zoning bylaw to these guys, which will make a difference to all the people on the outside that are paying taxes for you and paying your salary right now. My name is Kerry Jarsoff, and I've had enough of this city solicitor pretending that everything is good, so don't look over here. I actually would like to see a little bit more proof, and I'd like the, the mayor and, uh, and city manager, Jeff Jorgensen, to get off their butt and actually start doing their job and quit hiding. That's what I want. Have a good day.